Good afternoon, everybody. It's 12.47 p.m. here on uh, March 13th, 2020. It is Saturday. It's the weekend, and uh, good stuff, good stuff. Um, not a lot to talk about today. I just want to touch base a little bit. I haven't said much lately. I've been pretty quiet. Uh, I think the main thing is looking at these models. Um, I've seen the GFS doing a lot of crazy stuff in the mid to long range, and the European not, on, not in sync or not together with that, and they're just not on the same page. So I thought maybe instead of, you know, just saying every storm that we see in the medium range is amazing, just not saying anything at all and waiting until we get closer to the event. Uh, maybe today I can give you a little bit of an example of that. Um, if you've been following the models, GFS yeah, has been a lot more interesting overall. Um, here's a storm system that's coming up for, it uh, looks like early this week, so Monday time frame here in Wisconsin. It's, gonna, it's producing a lot of snow, uh, I think, out in this region, roughly, and then it's moving kind of like this way. Uh, but this, this it throws off a snow band here in the leading edge and you can see that you got a high pressure system here So pressure gradient is actually quite tight over here uh, But yeah, and then here's like a weaker a weak weak low pressure system for this time of year But but anyways, uh, yeah, you get that going like this and so it gets it looks like a little bit of a flying uh, Wing of, of snow that comes through on a, a short-term basis and you know, who knows what comes out of that? I'm not too concerned uh, Shouldn't be that significant here in Wisconsin, but um you're seeing that here on the GFS. The European is a little different. I think actually it's, the European's a lot, a little bit weaker. I don't know, but right again, this is not a headline type deal. This is not something to get worked up about. But as we go into uh, middle part of next week, the GFS again wants to throw up another big, a, a big system. Okay, this is a 993 millibar low pressure um, that it has, and that's going to be different for me. The European, which I didn't actually load yet, so let me go and load that. Um, we're going to go here in the models, and then this is on pivotalweather.com. I'm going to uh, go to the European here and just reload it. Uh, it's just, just the latest 12Z model run, and then we'll go bring it down to, uh, sure, why not a regional scale here, and then we'll go do the compare models loop uh, selection, and we'll try to get a similar time frame. So this GFS at about uh, 18Z on Wednesday, March 17th, which is at forecast hour 102. So let's go to forecast hour 102 or thereabouts and see what the other models show. So here's a European. And as also it does have the GFS on here for comparison. And you're seeing here's the GFS and here's the European. Uh, let me just make sure we got this right here that we're looking at the right models. Yep, okay. Uh, so yeah, European and GFS very different. Okay, so this is one of those red flag situations where, yeah, you know the GFS could be right and there could be a, a major system with this, but when you don't have the European support, uh, that worries me. The Canadian, uh, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I think, you know, when you have all these three models generally on the same page, that's where your confidence is. But so I would say confidence is low at this time frame. Uh, but if we take it through time here, we'll see what these models do. GFS, uh, a little bit more snow there um for what was this this is wednesday night into thursday okay see this is a lot different than this guys okay so that's what we're dealing with and that's why i'm not going to go too much into detail but i'll show you the gfs because it's kind of fun to look at so this 99 it goes from a 993 to 991 millibar here uh as it goes up this way this is a pretty classic storm track on the uh you know if if this were to pan out but i, I who knows then we go through time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be a nice system for Wisconsin. Southern Wisconsin, mainly on this model run. A little bit of high pressure that works in behind that. And then again, we have another system there by next Monday. So sometimes this time of year, you get um, systems that occur on a relatively um, normal or, or predictable time frame, like every week or so. Uh, you'll get a, a system and another system. And so every Monday, every Monday, every Monday, you know, kind of thing. And uh, that can happen this time of year. It also happens in fall every now and then. Uh, I don't know this a sequence, maybe a frequency. Uh, I can't think of the right word for that. But again, okay, so here's by about mid part of the week that follows of uh, another system there on the GFS. So this thing is just all crazy. It's really, really active. And I love to see that, but you know, you gotta be somewhat um, critical and you gotta, you know, just keep your hope in check there a little bit. Um, if we go look at, and this, I still haven't looked at the European that far out yet. And it's, um, well, again, I don't even know that's loaded right. Uh, let me just make sure we can get out to that right forecast period. Uh, 294, so I don't even think the European goes out that far. But we'll just take it out as far as it goes and see what it's showing. 
Okay, and again, these are different. So it's which what is what you would expect. But anyways, boiling it all back down. Um, uh, for more sensible weather prediction here, I would say that you have temperatures that okay today are above average, but as you go through the period closer to average uh, for this time of year. Okay, that should be nice. Nice weather with the sun coming out. The sun's nice and warm. And that's right on target. So that's good. Good to hear. You're not getting any major cold outbreaks in this time frame here in the seven day. So I'll boil it down like this. You know, uh, I'd love to see some action. I'd love to see some storms and that. But um, you kind of have to get into the bear's cage with these, I think, a little bit this time of year because it's so all over the place right now. Um, as for Wisconsin weather, again, very quiet. Nothing's really changed. This is going to be my first video in, wow, almost a month, I would say. Uh, just, you know, when the weather turns up again, I'll be back. Um, I got some stuff going on in personal life here that we you know, might be selling our house and stuff. So I, I think that my time, time to do this might become a little bit less here in the short term. But I'm really hopeful that after everything kind of blows over that, um, it'll be a storm chasing season and we'll be right into that. So again, I plan to chase like I've always, always have, um, but maybe a little bit less in the forecasting prediction. And we'll, but you'll see what that looks like when we get through it. So anyways, thanks for watching short video today, but, uh, enjoy your weekend and I will talk to you guys when something comes up and, uh, enjoy the weather.